So to create a container in Azure using the Azure CLI, first thing we need to do is just to define what resource group we want to use and the name of the container. I'm going to create those and assign them to these respective variables. And here, to retrieve that resource group, we just use AZ group show, give it the name. And you notice I've also got a back tick on the first line. That's just so it's easier to read. And I'll actually be doing that for all the AZ commands. And so down below, you can see the output there, just in JSON format. And oh, if we wanted to create that group, instead of just showing it, we just replace show with create. Pretty easy. And then to create the container, we use AZ container create. You can see here that, that for the arguments, I got the resource group equal to the name of the resource group. The name is equal to the C name. So the C name there, that's, remember that's a variable, the container AZ CLI. And then the image I'm using, it's just Microsoft's, their demo hello world container, pretty simple. And the DNS name label, this needs to be unique in the region you're creating it in. And then ports port 80, since I'm going to be accessing it via a web browser. So if we go ahead and run that Azure CLI command, there we go down below, we can see that it's running. And this may take a minute or two to get that container up and running. All right, there we go. So then in that output, we can see there the provisioning state is succeeded. And JSON format here is just the default for Azure CLI. We can see the IP address and the fully qualified domain name. But let me, let me show you a little easier way to get that output. So if we use the AZ container show, and then for the query, you can see I'm specifying the FQDN as well as the provisioning state and setting it the out to be a table. There we go. So now we just have the FQDN and the provisioning state. Let's take this fully qualified domain name. I'm going to copy this and we are going to paste it into our browser. And we can see that our container was deployed. This is the, the web page that is loading from the container. So that's how you deploy a container to Azure using the Azure CLI. Thanks for watching.